Free Smiles, episode 166, I believe. Welcome to our free to play series we like to call Free Smiles. Now, over the weekend, we had a. Hmm, was it over the weekend? No, it was recently. It was a uh, get one legendary, get one free. I think it still might be active right now, but we ended up pulling most of our ancient shards to. Well, we wanted to go for the extra legendary, right? But there was a reason why I had to pull my ancient shards. And I'll explain why in a moment. But first, I want to actually show you the shard pull session that I did. And I didn't have my computer for some time because my computer, I had some sort of a Windows fail update. And my computer just kind of went haywire. Black screen, it was running and I just, I couldn't really get to uh, get it working. But I sent it over to the repair shop and I got it back recently. And now I have my computer. But I did record the pull session over my phone so i'll show you the pull session real quick and then we'll get back to my account and the progression as far as the fusion goes so let's get right to it Alright guys, so as you can see, we got two new legendaries. Well, one is a brand new legendary. The other one is a second copy, which is the Cantra. But we did get a Zavia, guys. Zavia is actually really cool. She does hit super hard. And I actually don't really need to book her. I don't even need to gear her properly. If I can maybe get like a couple Cavalexes or something, then I can do some interesting speed run compositions there. But she is a really solid poisoner in general. And... Uh, I don't think I'm going to be building her just yet, but she is definitely a solid pull. So I'm pretty happy with this. And the Cantra is actually cool too because I already have one, but it helps me start uh, racking up some more Faction Guardian slots, right? Wait, whoops. Went to Doors. She is a Barbarian. And yeah, look at this, guys. I have a second slot for the Barbarians filled up. And I could just do a little bit more here and I'll get the 30 Accuracy and Resistance there. And I don't have any other duplicates there. All right. So why did I summon for this guaranteed legendary champion off of you getting a legendary champion? Now, I believe this is definitely one of the best, um, I guess, like summoning events that are around because normally you would expect one legendary out of 200 or 220 if you go deep into the mercy. Like that would be worst case scenario. This pretty much guarantees you two for that same. Basically, you're getting uh, one per hundred, which is like pretty much a guaranteed. Now, 
You could say, well, I'd rather risk my Ancient Shards during a 2x event, which would still basically be like on average 1 per 100, and if you're super lucky, you can get even more, but worst case scenario, it's still going to be 1 out of 220 if you hit Mercy. So that's kind of how, how I look at it, and but that's not actually the reason why I pulled for this. The reason why I pulled my Shards is because over the weekend, again, my PC broke down, I I was uh, a, lot, a lot going on over the weekend, and I just, my head wasn't in the right place, and I was trying to manage multiple accounts, and I somehow missed on one of the events here. So there was a dragon event that happened, a dragon tournament, I believe, and I think it's still, no, it's not here anymore. And I literally just needed like 30 more points to get that rare champion, and I missed it. I missed it, and I was so upset because I was, I really wanted to just go for the fusion, not because I think he's really great or anything. I think he's solid. I think he's cool, but because he's unique. Now, whenever you see a unique champion in the game, I always suggest going for it. And most fusions, most fragment summon champions, it's if you're able, if you have the resources, you should always go for it because you never know in the future where they might be uh, useful or you know there might be new content that comes out that make them really interesting. So that's kind of why I say go for these fusion champions. But again, I just wanted to get them because to show you guys that you can still do it on a free to play account. That's all I was trying to do because that's just what we do on our free to play series. But unfortunately we could not get that event done. So I missed one rare champion. That is why I ended up pulling my shards because there's an event going on and I'm like, okay, you know what? It's a two birds with one stone kind of scenario and hopefully I can get the rare champion. But unfortunately guys, we did not get the rare champion. So I might be screwed. I might be screwed now guys because I'm missing one rare champion and there's no other events I can do to try to get that other one back because the only way you could get that extra rare champion or epic champion was going to be through the the summon rush that we had last weekend. So that's pretty much it. There's no other way I can, no other method I can use to get these, uh, an extra rare champion like this other than by pulling the champion. So here's my thought now. I'm going to be saving this for this weekend because champ chase events, right? And I can, uh, it's, it's going to be a tournament. So I can try to rack up as many points as I can to maybe try to win it. But more importantly than that, I'm trying to go for that rare champion. And there's no sense of me pulling them now because there's no event going on. And I might even be tempted to pull my Sacred Shards because there's going to be a 10x Teodor along with a 2x Sacred Shard summoning event happening this weekend. So I might blow all my Sacred Shards here in hopes to try to get that epic champion as well for the fusion. But also it's going to be a 2x summons event. There's just like a lot of good reasons to pull for this weekend. But typically champ chase events is not the best time to pull sacred shards, but yeah, 10x Teodor, 2x sacred summons, I still need the epic or the rare champion for this fusion to get it done. I just feel like it's, everything is telling me to go for it. So those are my thoughts right now, guys. Um, so there's no events going on right now as far as, no, there's nothing else really going on, but I did collect most of my rewards here. All right. So as far as my horse pass goes. I am pretty much, I, I think I missed out on like a, like a full two days or something, but I did count it up and if I don't miss any more events here, I have exactly enough days to get the rest of this done. So that's another thing I have to get out of the way. And yeah, so there is something that just went live. Oh, it's not live anymore guys, but there is a live arena added to the game. And it's been a while since I posted a video for my free to play series, I think too. So. Yeah, this went live recently and I'm that's I'm definitely going to be hitting this up a bit and see how we fare in like the with like the other Krakens out there and whatnot. Because right now the I would say a lot of us like I guess like lower to mid game players out there. We're not going to be able to compete in this much because a lot of people are going to be hitting this and trying to uh, climb. So maybe if you give it a little bit of time we might be facing each other as far as like lower to mid game players in a sense but as far as uh yeah look at this guys <laughs> yeah a lot of battles played so far and i haven't done a single one yet on my free to play count so that's something to look forward to and oh the big news here guys we finally did it we finally got the silver tag team arena oh my gosh this has been a goal of mine for a while even though i didn't really like try my hardest to get it done 
And I finally have access to the refresh accessories, guys. That was the biggest thing for me. And I do have access to this too, but I don't rack up enough, rack up enough uh, medals here to get this every single time. So I'm going to have to pass up on that. But I would love to get to gold one at least so I can get this done. But that's going to be, yeah, that's going to be far, far away. So I finally got the silver, guys. I'm so happy with that. And I could have got it done like a while ago, but I didn't really put much effort or thought into it. But finally this... Like recently, I just said, you know what? I need I need to get there. Like I just need to get there and start progressing on my account. And yeah, now during this champ chase event, I do have these that I was planning to summon, right? My Mithrala and my uh, Elhain here. Mithrala, I really really want to get done because I need her for Hydra Boss. Hydra Boss, it'll be great. And this is gonna be a lot of points here. You know what? I might not even need to summon my Elhain or my Lady Erish. If, especially if I'm going to be opening all my sacred shards and my the rest of my ancient shards. Because I'm definitely going to get enough points for the last rare champion. But I think Mithrala, no matter what, I'm going to be popping. Because I do want to build her. That's going to be my next focus champion. There are some other champions I worked on recently. And I think I said this already. But Corvus is one that I did get maxed out here. That I'm going to be gearing up and throwing into my dragon team very, very soon. And I'm going to be able to form dragon 10 pretty soon, I think. So that's something to look forward to. So that's pretty much how it goes as far as my progression. But I also joined a new clan, guys. We joined SP clan. Um, shout out to Panda, invited me to join SP. And yeah, I really appreciate the invite. So I want to start focusing on Hydra boss a lot more. And that's why I want to get my Mithrala done and complete it. So I can finally start hitting brutal, hard, more consistently. Right now, all I'm doing with it is hitting just normal and that's pretty much it and sometimes brutal but i'm not able to do or not brutal hard i'm not able to do too much there and there is a legendary chaos or available this week guys this doesn't happen that often but when when it is available you need to get it right so that's pretty much all i'm saving my ores for or not my ores my uh my metals here whatever they're called uh clan gold yeah so every time this pops up i always try to grab all of them and i think the last time this popped up on i think it was like Maybe like two months ago or something three months ago it's been a while since i've seen this but yeah that pretty much does it guys and it seems like it's always the same warrior circles pack that's popping up on my account lately yeah it's always the same one like every single day for the past week i think i've been seeing this but i mean it's pretty solid especially if you uh go in a route like this i guess right yeah it's pretty solid very very solid but it's a free-to-play account right I'm not interested in spending any money on here so that's gonna be hard pass but as far as everything else goes this is average it's usually that's that's pretty average this is always a solid deal uh mini mix packs usually see a uh, get one get one free that happens too pretty often well not often but here and there this is gonna be about average and for the gear pack here i mean if you're end game if you're a kraken spender then this is most likely gonna be a pickup for most of you guys out there but yeah, we're circles pack. This is pretty solid. And I haven't really seen anything else here on my account, though. Like I said, this is the one same one I've seen every single day for the past week. Really weird. But that pretty much does it, guys. Hope you guys enjoy this video. I didn't really go into any gameplay today, but I just wanted to get you guys up to speed on my progress with the fusion, up to speed on my progression with my account in general and what's been going on. So like I said, my computer broke down, but it's working fine now. And yeah, we're good. We're good. So hopefully I get more content out to you guys. Uh, the rest of this week and going forward and i apologize for having not much content out the the past like two weeks or so but hopefully uh, we can get back on that grind again and hope you guys enjoy this video hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day you guys are so beautiful and if you guys enjoy my content please make sure to subscribe hit that like button and i'll see you all in the next video